I'm Kelly with iCraft Vinyl and today I want to show you how to apply heat transfer vinyl to a canvas. So I just have these little mini canvases here that I picked up from the craft store and I am going to show you how to apply some matte and glitter HTV. So we'll just go ahead and get started. So for canvases there are a couple different ways you can do it. You can remove the staples and uh, then you'll have the canvas here. You can trim it and you can actually use a heat press and pressure your vinyl around there. It's called a reverse canvas. I don't feel like going through that process today. So instead, I'm just gonna take an old t-shirt and I'm gonna stick it in the back of the, the canvas here to kind of fill the space to allow the canvas to kind of meet the wood frame. So when I press and apply pressure, I can get an even nice press with my iron. So that's kind of what I'm doing now, making sure this is in there. We'll just kind of go ahead with our first layer here just do a quick little pass so it kind of gets stuck and then I'll kind of go in and make sure it's all adhered I want to make sure you're applying enough pressure for at least 10 or 15 seconds get it all the letters and the tops of the letters and the bottoms of the letters because those are going to be the, the problem the problem areas all right. now I just have a second layer here that I am going to apply right on top kind of do the same thing just going to go quick pass first get it kind of tacked on and I will do a uh, more firm press to make sure it's adhered all right Our matte is normally a uh, a warm peel, but when you're using or yeah, warm or cold peel, but when you're using an iron, you want to give it enough time to cool, especially when you're working with a bunch of layers. Sometimes it can just peel up from all the heat, so just give each layer enough time to cool, especially when you're working on a new material. You kind of never know how it's going to react to the vinyl, so it's better to go cold peel. my Teflon sheet since I have some of the design not covered by that other carrier sheet. Just don't want anything to burn. on to our next layer and what's cool about our glitter is it can be layered so you don't have to worry about this peeling up or anything or if you're putting it on a garment and layering and you're washing it a bunch you won't have to worry about it so you can layer glitter on glitter glitter, glitter on matte glitter on liquid gives you a lot more uh, possibilities with your designs Mm -hmm. All right, 
Right, and here is our second canvas. 